Yo, it's Alan Young here in this Christmas edition. I've got a Christmas tree up, it's only the 28th of November, but my fiance and son have talked me into it, so we're gonna go a bit Christmassy in this video. So anyway, this video, we are, I am gonna show you how you can make some decent images for your Facebook ads or for your website, how you can spruce up some images to make them a little bit more, make them pop a bit more, make them look a bit more better, make it uh, match the branding off your site. So I'm gonna show you a really easy to use uh, tool, it's free, it's simple to use, and uh, you can get your images done and dusted and made you know, in a matter of minutes, save you any time having to get someone else to do it, or just save you from using the boring, just uh, basic images that most people use on their site. So I'm gonna, switch over now to desktop mode and I'll show you how to do it but one thing before you go if we're not friends yet click subscribe and if you like this video remember to click like it really helps me out and anyway let's switch over see you there yo so we're now over on the desktop mode and I'm going to show you how you can make some decent images whether it's for your Facebook ads or whether you want some decent images for your site this is a really easy uh tool to use and it's free and uh, you know just say it's not very complicated I, I use Photoshop as well but you know I'm starting to use this a little bit more now and and you may have heard of it it's canva.com um, I think it sometimes it might be you know you might not use it to its full potential because you can really do some great stuff with Canva and it really doesn't need to be complicated either so if you uh, if you don't know about it you know, I'm going to show you about it now. And if you do know about it, then maybe you'll learn something about creating some, uh, you know, decent images. So, you know, you might have, uh, you might create a, a Facebook, uh, you know, ad post, or you might create something for your website, or whatever it is. But you want to try and give your your image something, uh, you know, something to make it pop out or make it stick out a bit more, or you know, just something that's going to make it look a little bit better than the other the other posts that are out there. And most people, you know, really don't put much effort into their images. They just sort of use stock images or you know any of them that they pull off AliExpress. And there's nothing unique about them. So if you can try and make your images look better in some way, it really does make a difference. So. You know, firstly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, if you have your website and say you've got your category section, you can just use an image for your categories or you could spice it up, um, you know, and do something a bit different. So basically what I'm going to show you is here is on one of my sites, I've got my categories and on the categories, you've got a image of something that represents a category. So set, I'll give you an example. If you were, you know, you had a um, sort of like a, like a home uh, kind of store you might have an outdoor uh, set category or you might have a you know living room category you might have a bedroom category so you might just have an image of a bedroom for the bedroom category an image for the garden and then what you can do is you can spice it up and I'll show you how to do it so I've got a I've got like an outdoor website and I'm going to give you an example I've got a, uh, a category which is called on sale so I'm going to show you how to make it so you pick your, um, on the home page, you pick the size that you want for your image, then you get taken to this page here. So I'm going to show you how to do this one first. So firstly, let's use this image that I've, um, that I've got from a website called Unsplash. So this website is called unsplash.com. All the images are royalty free. They're free. I just literally typed in what I was looking for in here. It gives me loads of options and they're all free. And this is where I get a lot of my images from. So it's always good to use uh, images that you've got permission to use. So firstly, let's uh, start off by stretching the image out till it is the right height. So I'm just going to do that. Now we've got the right height. I'm going to move it to it's about, sort of looks about right that looks about right for me. So there you go. That might be a category, might be knives or something, or or I'm going to use it for on sale. So stuff that I've got in a category which is on sale, or I've labelled it as on sale. So once you've got the image like that, then you need to try and improve it, make it look a little bit better. So next thing is to go to elements, and I would pick shape. So click shape. I would just click this white one here, and then it'll come up like this. So then what I would do is I would turn it on its side. So you can have it anywhere. You can have it running through the middle, but it's up to you. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna stretch it down a little bit. Get it like this. And then pull that down like this. So at the moment, it's black. It doesn't look very good. So let me, I'm just gonna try and stretch that out a little bit. So at the moment, you might be thinking, Oh, it doesn't look very good, it's covering the image. This is what you do next, is you click on transparency, 
and you drag it up and down. So let's say I'm gonna go say 52. I'm gonna go 50. Uh, let's go 52 if I can get it to 52. Right, so now you've got a line that runs through the image. So next, I might put some text on it. So I click text. I go say add sub test subheading. Twist it round so we've got it in line. What looks about right? Then let's bring it up a bit. Bring it back this way. Then let's put something in there. So let's put uh, on sale products or now let's put it on sale now or, or probably whatever you want to call it so this might be on sale now products or you might have free products i don't know let's go to say 36 or 30 say so leave it like that for a second i'm going to then change the font to i like this one because it's bold so now that's changed and then what i'm going to do if i can move it one second there you go that's in the center for a second so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna click on it so if you double click on it again you can see the color tab there I'm gonna pick a new color or you can pick any color but I'm gonna match my site so for this I use a gold so that's that so now this is starting to look a little bit better so what you can do then is increase the size so it sort of starts to fit in your uh but see so there you go let's have a little look so and that's in the middle now there you go so this here then will be in a category so you might have your categories and what i would do then is match your site so if you've got a gold like banner and some of your logo is in gold and you try and you know use similar style throughout the site so it's not one of them messy looking sites that doesn't look trustworthy so for instance in this one my my banner is gold and my you know some other parts of my website have gold and so it matches so when i've got the category images you know i would do something like this something like where the colors sort of match a bit of dark over it with the gold and that looks that starts to look better then it looks just like a you know professional site so that's one way you can spruce up you know category images or something like that on your site so next is say you have a image a banner image so we're going to say we're going to say i've just pulled these glasses up off uh, aliexpress uh, just to show you as an example so you might want to just do a you can do various things so i've just chose this uh, size for an example but you can change the size whatever fits you i've uploaded these images already to save time so let's what i could do is pull this up like that so you place it down there into the corner Bring it up so you see the little lines matching up so you know it's the right height. Then you can bring the other one over. This is after you've clicked upload and uploaded your own files. So there we go. That's it. So we're in line now. So I might want to, I might want to shrink this down a little bit just to, um, just so it's a little bit smaller. There you go. And I'll move it over. So, so you've got two images side by side and on their own doesn't look great so you might want to put a little break into it so click elements click lines so you might want to get a little line in there so you do that bring it around then you might want to just really shrink it up just shrink it right up there you go and then you might want to go say do white and you might want to put the transparency down just so it's just very slight and then so that's you can break the image up like that you can do loads of different ways you can create the square ones where there's a image there image there image there image there you can do it like that with this and then say for instance you might want to put something along the top to say something like get free shipping today or, or something like that you know so so again you just put this up there get on the top pull this to the side pull that to the side pull this down a little bit you might want to put change the color a little bit so let's say let's just put this color it's probably not the greatest color let's bring the transparency down um so let's just say like there and then what you do you get this bring it down so it's not 
there you go. So that means it stops there. Then you might want to uh, <coughs> put some text on it then. So let's put some text. Let's bring it up. And then we could put something like, get you know, get free shipping. I'm not saying use this. Just say whatever suits you. You could be having a deal. Get two for what I mean, three for one, or get yours today, or whatever. Get. I just put get free shipping today. This is just an example. You know, obviously, you just put what suits. Uh, you know, the offer or the product or whatever. So I use this one just because it's big. You can literally go through and play with them all. Um, decide what's good. Oh. So I'm just going to stretch this out. Just going to stretch that out. And then I'm going to play with the size. So this goes 36. It's not too bad, actually. Maybe I'll go one more. So you could do this. You obviously got to be careful about the uh, text rule on Facebook ads. I know like you can you can use text more now in the ads today than you could last year because they just uh, they've changed the rules on it. But you still uh, you know you want to try and keep it within the twenty percent. So um, so uh, you know your ads get shown more. So you know you could try that. I don't know if the gold will work on this one. Say I'm this is just an example. So I'm not saying this is for my site for this one don't really match so I'm probably just going to go back to that so you might have a, a store which is uh, you know got a lot of black in so you like to keep images dark you know but like you can see like what you can do with this is quite a cool little a little app so that was really easy to make a product image and it pops out a bit more you might have a few different uh, images you might well like I said do a four a four corner one in a more square image you know for for instagram or what for, or forever you might have an instagram sh uh, shout out post and you might want to put something in there like uh, get yours free today or whatever so that's another way to uh, to do that and i'll give you one more example like say for instance you want to create uh, a blog post image so you want to create a blog post image or say for instance you are running cold traffic to a uh, a Facebook uh, article. So, say you've got a post from a page saying like the top five, uh, top five, uh, you know, like survival tools or whatever, or essential survival tools. You might do something like this. So, you could upload uh, this image here. And again, I got this from uh, these are from unsplash.com, as you can see there, or pexels.com so these are free stock photos and they're really professional and clean um, so these are really great things to use so let's uh, get that there so this is about right here so so you can put that there then you can go to like the elements again I love to literally uh, chuck um, put stuff on so you can do this here put it over the top oh sorry put that there Let's go here, go like that, bring transparency down. Like obviously, Matt, like I said, always remember to try and match your site style. So it might be just a little bit dark, let's see. Um, and then you might want to put some text. So you get the point, it's really simple to use. Um, top, more, top five essential uh every day carry tools one sec I'll change it to white let me do it now actually so you can actually see top five essential everyday carry tools for under 70 75 dollars and obviously then that article could basically just be uh pointing to five products that you sell on your store and they might go and click on it or because they've gone on Reddit, they know your brand a bit more, then you can retarget them with the products that you've put in that page, um, you know, with maybe 10% off, so that would get them there. So let me just improve on this before uh, I finish up. Let's go there. I'm going to change the uh, change the font. Oh, one second. So again, like I said, just match your style. Whatever your style of site is, you know, you've got to try and go and match that. So say your site was a bit more, you know, use white a lot and black a lot, then this might work well. If you, like I said, if you use gold a lot in your site and red, you might want to 
you know, use those colors more and those images will match your site. But always remember to keep the branding in line. So don't just use random colors and random this and that for different things. Try and keep it the same. So it's like with, you know, with anything, if you see a brand and it's got familiar colors, when you see those colors, you know, it's got a familiarity about it. So you sort of trust it more. If you keep seeing just different stuff, they're not going to remember it's the same brand. But if they keep seeing your stuff, it's got that same color, it's got that same feel to it. You know, you're going to start to get in their subconscious mind on that kind of level. Level and they're going to trust you more so you know this is another way like I said you can build just cool little images they're simple you don't need to overcomplicate. I think sometimes you know we we overcomplicate stuff and it really is this simple so you know you can try these hopefully these little uh, tips have helped or you know if you need to create a little image next time you know how to do one quite easily you can improve if you've got an AliExpress you know images you can you can even lo upload your png uh logos and you can put your logos on them you can do all sorts of stuff with canvas so it's really worth getting to know this um uh you know this platform or this app or whatever you want to call it, its website and learn how to just make some decent images and like i said just keep everything congruent with your style of your site and and you you know you'll be uh you'll do much better than you would otherwise so there you go. I hope that helps. Uh, you know, I hope you understand. If you enjoyed that, click like, um, you know, and if you'd like to see more of this stuff, click subscribe and I will see you again in another video. Till then, I'll speak to you soon.